Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nisi. Welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this look here, which is my go-to quarantine look right now, which I know sounds crazy. Like, why do you have a makeup look for quarantine, right? You're staying home, nobody's seeing you, but I'm a content creator and I also have an online beauty business where I am mentoring so many ambitious women every single day so I still have to see people and talk to people not face to face but you know face to face via internet so I still need to look presentable and put together and this is definitely a look that I have been absolutely loving it's also a look that's great for summer it's lightweight it's super simple super quick it's even great for work so whatever you guys want to take this and use it for you do that anyways let's go ahead and just get right into it so let me pin my hair back real quick because I can already my hair again annoying also if you guys are wondering about like these little mermaid waves this little hairstyle that I've been wearing pretty freaking often during this quarantine it's heatless and it's really simple it's quick for on the go I have a whole IGTV all about it so go and check that out but we're gonna start with our face I'm gonna start with some primer and my all-time favorite primer is this one here from milk makeup it is called their hydro grip primer literally your makeup will not go anywhere all day with this stuff it's like just gives your foundation such a sticky base it just doesn't go anywhere and if you're like me you don't bring makeup with you when you're out and about you know you just need your makeup to just stay all day and not worry about it this is definitely what you're gonna need and then, yeah that's all we do it's pretty freaking sticky let me grab my hand sanitizer because my hands will be sticky all day all right cool now for foundation I'm actually going to be going in with CC cream I'm gonna be going in with two I have tan and medium and these are both from it cosmetics I love the CC cream it's so bomb right now I'm just kind of like in between shades because I haven't been getting any Sun so I'm not exactly tan but I'm not exactly medium either and my favorite way to apply any type of foundation is with my brush first I just kind of like distribute it and then I pounce it out with my beauty blender and they do actually have a really matte version of this I just haven't gotten around to trying it yet again quarantine I've been in the house I'm definitely one of those people where I can't wear makeup online I have to see it in person feel it touch it you know all that jazz color put it up to my face I also just hate returning makeup and also most places like when you buy it you can't really return it once you've opened it unless it's like Sephora or whatever because they have a really good return policy but that's like another thing too is like dang you got the wrong shade now you gotta return it and you gotta go through the process again gotta guess it again so I'd rather just go into the store do it one time see if it's truly my shade and then there's that and I also love using a brush to distribute because you can really like well if you're like me and you do your eyebrows before your makeup you can really get in there and just look like that and then actually before we go ahead and pounce everything out, I'm going to go ahead and stick on concealer too. And I know what you guys are thinking, like what? But there's plenty of people who literally just like map up their whole face. Like they put concealer, their cream bronzer, highlight, whatever, and then they just blend it all out at once. So not as crazy as you think, okay? <laughs> Also, speaking of beauty blenders, drop in the comments your favorite beauty sponge other than an actual beauty blender. My only other one that I actually genuinely love that I've tried so far is the e.l.f. one, but it's the purple one. I'll show it to you guys in another video. I just cleaned all of them, so they're not over here at my beauty desk, but... Yeah, that's the only other sponge and I would love to find one that's a little bit more affordable because I end up just going back to the original Beauty Blender because nothing is as soft or just like, I don't know, just doesn't it blend as well as this one does. Nothing is better than the original. I tried a bunch of other ones and they're just like hard or I just didn't like how they blended or whatever it is. Yeah, I just pounce it all out. It gives me a nice like natural effect. Guys, look at this base, like what? All right, now I'm gonna set everything with my RCMA powder. Mine looks a little bit funky cause I just keep it in the cap because it is like this little container. So I actually just throw it right in the cap and yes, I have backups. 
love that powder absolutely love it i honestly haven't purchased a translucent powder in so long so i'm just gonna quickly set my under eyes and i'm gonna set the rest of my face while that's just sitting in there with the same powder and i'm pretty messy when it comes to translucent powder so just don't mind me Honestly, I like I said, I haven't tried the matte version of the CC cream yet, but I do want to say I have oily combination skin. So if you guys are worried about like this being maybe too dewy on you, as long as you set it, you're totally fine, okay? Like I said, I have oily combination skin and I get really oily like my forehead, T-zone area. See, as long as I set this, I'm totally good to go. I don't I don't look like a big oil bag or anything. If you don't set this, however, you're probably gonna have some issues. Now that we're set with our translucent powder, I also set my face with a foundation setting powder as well. You totally don't have to do this. I just like to do this to add like a little bit more color into my skin. And today I'm using Rihanna's Pro Filter. Let me see what it's called. <laughs> Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter um, Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade cashew I honestly really love this and what I do is I just put a little bit in the cap like I get some on my brush and I just go like this and then there's this a little bit in the cap that I use because this stuff really is super pigmented and I really just go around like the perimeters of my face I blend it a little bit inward just to bring some color back into my face which of course I'm still gonna bronze but just so that everywhere looks cohesive and I don't look like a freaking ghost and like I said, this also has a little bit, like just the tiniest bit of shimmer in it. So it gives you just like that glow, which is what I'm going for. That like glowy skin looks so nice and healthy. Even though I don't need makeup to do that, baby. My skin already looks flawless. But, you know, I want to enhance it with the makeup. I want to be glowing to the gods, okay? <laughs> okay. So after that, we're going to go ahead and bronze, like I said, and I have been absolutely loving my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in this shade Sunkissed. So freaking good. This is probably like my third one of this bronzer. This is hands down one of my favorite like everyday bronzers. And my favorite way is I kind of like tap it in to make that line that I want to create and put down that product and then I will blend it out. Put the excess on my nose and then do the other side. And then we can't forget the neck. I don't dip back in. I just take whatever is on my brush, whatever's left, and just kind of stick it everywhere in there so everything looks cohesive on top of that because i did tell y'all i'm going for that super bronzy look i go in with milani's baked bronzer in dulce and what i love about this bronzer is it's not really super pigmented but it is bronzy as heck like there's hella shimmer in there so i just like run the my same brush that i'm using for my bronzer through there and i just kind of like run right on top kind of where i'm gonna put my highlight and my blush because for this look I'm going to be super bronzed I'm not going to be using any blush so yeah I really just throw it on like super sloppy because this is like I'm at home all day you know I'm trying to look cute but like quick cute I don't know. all right so I'm just gonna blend my forehead that way it's not too harsh and my neck and then to just kind of clean this up I'm gonna go right in with the same translucent RCMA powder and my little beauty blender and I'm just gonna make a line that connects from like the middle of my ear all the way to like where the middle of my mouth is perfect so literally all I have to do is mascara and I have been loving a few of them lately so I'm not really sure which one I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do like a combination. So first I'm going to start off with Revlon's Dramatic Definition. I have been loving this one because it honestly separates your lashes so nicely but it doesn't give me the volume that I want. Definitely gives me the link. Give this video a thumbs up if you usually mix your mascaras, like if you wear more than one. And even if you only wear one, still give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> See, it gave me 
length, but it's not as like thick as I want it. So I'm gonna use another one that's gonna give me that thickness, which is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Mascara from L'Oreal. Love this one by itself as well. Then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this away. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. So for highlighter, I am going to be using this palette here. I've had this for a while now. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you guys know exactly when I got this. So that's why it looks all like wonky and stuff. But this is the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. Love this bad boy. Literally, you get every highlighter shade and they're pretty good quality too for drugstore, which I can appreciate. I'm literally just gonna go in with mainly these two, the gold and the pink, but I'm gonna go in with just a touch of that purple after too. Oh no, I've been digging my nail in. So I'm just gonna go beep boop pop pop beep boop beep boop. <laughs> um, and then I'm just gonna hits the top parts. I don't know if y'all can notice a difference, but no highlight. Oh yeah, highlight, yes. Get a little on my nose and my Cupid's bow. For lips, I'm gonna be going in with this combination here from NYX. It is the Lingerie Push Up in, what shade is this? Embellishment. On top of it, I'm gonna go over their Candy Slick Glowy Gloss in S'mores, please. I'm gonna have all the products that I'm using today listed down below, okay? So I'm just gonna line my lips with this, and it does kinda give you like a tingling sensation. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a lip plumper. Oh my God, there's a sharpener on here, stop. No way. What I love about this lip crayon is it's super soft, it's pigmented, it's easy, you know, to work with. It glides on. It's not like hard and like you have to like really push it, but it's pretty thick. So that's the only thing and it doesn't stay at a point. I do like that it comes with that sharpener though. Last thing, this is probably like the key to everything staying in place and giving you that nice glowy look all day. And that's Farsali's Rose Gold Skin Mist. This is literally a 24K gold infused setting spray, which I love. Not only does it set your face, but also hydrates. And it's also good to like prime your face too. I don't use it as a primer though, because it does have those gold flecks in it. Not gonna lie, I feel like it breaks me out when it's on my skin by itself. But with my foundation and everything, it's amazing. So I'm just gonna shake this up and... Alright guys, and this is it. This is my simple go-to quarantine look. I have been absolutely loving this. I get so many compliments on literally an everyday basis on my Instagram, my Zoom calls, on FaceTimes, like Whatever it is, I get so many compliments on my skin. Even when I'm going through like the drive-thru really quick to grab some lunch, like literally everybody's like, holy crap, like your skin looks so good, so healthy, so glowy. And I'm like, oh, girl, thanks. I'm not even wearing foundation. It's this easy cream or whatever. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want to see more videos like this one, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.